Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again. It's me Slideways Rush and today I've bought you a drift build and tune setup for the Volvo 850R. Um, first of all, this is the design by Vic Ricky Vale Free. Um, Volvo 850R is the description of it. So let's go over to the upgrade shop and start upgrading this beast. Um, I've nicknamed it the Grandad Sleeper Car. Um, me and my mate decided to call it that uh, he thinks it's a great car and it tandems beautifully so I thought why not bring it to you guys on YouTube and you guys can copy it do what you like with it edit it slightly adjust it and whatever you know um, also you can uh, share it amongst your friends do what you like um, but if you don't want to run through this whole video to get this tune set up please go and download it on the Forza um, storefront um, it's up there um, it's under grandad sleeper or something like that so yeah um, or just search my gamer tag in the creator options first of all we're gonna go to engine swap and we're gonna put the 2.6 L in um, good engine love the sound of it um, so first of all put that in and then put it to a rear-wheel drive conversion obviously so front-wheel drive car originally we're going to go over to the bumper upgrades. I put the VST front bumper on it. It's totally up to you what you want to put on it. Um, and I left the spoiler as standard. You can put the Forza wing on it, give it a little bit of an extra lip, but I didn't think it made too much of a difference. Or you can just take it off completely. And then we're going to hand over to the um, tyre compound um, and we're going to put the sport tyre compound on today. I usually run that on most cars. As you can see, I haven't put much width on either. Um, I've actually left the front width stock on the front of it, so yeah, and the rear width is matte. No, the rear width is stock as well on this, yeah, that's right. Just make sure, yeah, yeah, stock on the rear as well. Wheels, I put any wheels on up to you, but my signature wheels are the Edition Race wheels. Um, I love them to absolute bits. Um, we're going to go one size up on wheel size, so we're putting in a one up. And then we're going to go over to the upgrade shop and drive train. And we're going to first of all put a race clutch in, race transmission, race drive line, and race diff. Then we're going to head over to brakes, we'll put race brakes on, race suspension, race and throw bars and race roll cage and then we're going to put in a race weight reduction then head over to the engine upgrades uh, race intake on this um, race fuel system race ignition sports exhaust race camshafts race valves race engine block race pistons Race twin turbo, no intercooler, no oil and cooling, and then race flywheel. And that's it for the upgrades. Now if we tune the car, I'm running 42 PSI in the front, and the rear I'm running 18 PSI. The gears, if you just want to copy these, I will also read them out. It's a 3.85, then 2.88, 1.99, 1 1.42, 1.18, 0.98, 0.78. Now if we go to alignment, I've got negative one camber in the front and then negative 0.5 in the rear. The front I've got positive or out 0.4 and then rear I've got in 0.4, so negative 0.4. And the front caster is at 6. Anti roll bars are at 12.94 on the front and the rear are at 10.10. .10. Now to springs, springs I've put 5139 in the front and the rear I've put 496.1. And the ride height is as low as it can go, so at 5.8 on the front and rear. Rebound stiffness is at 4.2 and the rear is at 6.2 front is at 6.4 and the rear is at 4.4 .4. 
downforce you can't adjust I haven't got the Forza wings on braking off just left that's down to personal preference to be honest it doesn't really bother me at the moment and acceleration so differential acceleration is at 80% and deacceleration is at 40% that's it now let's head over to the test track and we're gonna head to Silverstone National because that's my tuning circuit so if we head over to there right so we're now over to the Silverstone's race circuit um, this is where we're going to test out the tune and build uh, make sure it's all right if you want to make any adjustments to it then you can um, but for now this is uh, how I've got it and this is what works best for me um, so yeah here's a little montage of it drifting for you guys and uh, if you like it please leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more and uh, if you've got any comments stick them in the comments down below and it'd be nice to give me some ideas of what cars you want me to tune and see um, I've got a couple more ready I've just got to make videos on so keep keep in touch and uh, yeah peace out <laughs> We're back from the dead.